Can you see where I'm going with this? So on my Hero 7 Black, which I have two of, for one of them I have this little microphone, I don't know what you want to call it, caddy or box or whatever, that bolts straight on the bottom of this aftermarket aluminium case, metal case. So I got a second Hero 7 and could not find this exact case but I bought another one that was quite close. It didn't come with the little attachment for the microphone adapter. So I want to make a microphone caddy like this out of this for this. And that is saying 33, 34, and that is saying 33 and a half, so that's good. We've got uh, about half a mil to come off that, and I will see if I can find a smoother end mill. So there's the blank there, ready for a slot to be milled through the middle and then for the holes to be drilled. Came out okay. I lucked out that the radius of my whatever it was mill, 13 millimeter milling bit, happened to be pretty much bang on the radius of um, the original. And of course the real test is how does it match up to the camera? And the answer is really nicely, so I'm very happy with that. It may be I've left that lip too thick, in which case I can just sort of graze a bit off the top with the mill. But otherwise I'm very happy with that so far. So what's left to do? So just said we've got to mill the strip up the middle, 
Then we've got to mill a slightly larger slot up to about there, I think, so that it captures the end of the microphone adapter. And then we've got to figure out what holes we're drilling underneath. But not right now. Right now, I'm going to have my tea. I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just eyeballing this now. I've managed to get a two millimetre drill bit in there and I'm just lining it up on a centre mark. I think that's going to be accurate enough. Good enough. Okay, here's a bit of a timeout just to show how far we've got. Those dimensions are good. But once again, if you can see, once again, I forgot to tighten the head down and it pulled itself into the job. So that's a shame. It is, however, still usable. And that, of course, is our watchword. So now, even though that gap is not as big as the original end gap. As you can see, there's plenty of room there to get our different connectors in. I managed to stick to the dimensions fairly well. At some point, my centering has gone skew whiff because this side is thicker than this side by quite a lot, actually, by a millimetre, which is, um, I don't know what happened there. But there is still a bit to take off the top here. I don't know what that is, but half a millimetre or something, 30,000, something like that, uh, to bring it to the right height, at which point I'm hoping that um, that will bring it to the right thickness at the top. Beyond that, the only other thing left to do is to drill our fixing holes. OK, here we are, marked up for the two holes I'm going to drill for the bolts. I've carefully marked them to avoid conflicting with any of the holes that are there already. And then once I've drilled the holes in here, I will have to transfer the holes across to here and drill and tap those. Not the best way of hole punching something, but a 3 mil drill bit's all I've got. Here is the finished product.
I am actually very happy with that. The dimensions have come out extremely well. So this was just really a side project while I waited for some parts to turn up. I've still got some work to do on the milling machine and my lathe to rebuild. But we've got the Royal Mail on strike at the moment, plus we're coming up to Christmas, so the post is kind of overloaded. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little um, excursion and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, Harris.